The Artemis II crew represents thousands of people working tirelessly to bring us to the stars. This is their crew. This is our crew. This is humanity's crew. May I introduce them to you all? The announcement was broadcast live on national news stations across Canada. He is a master of science in physics, an F-18 pilot, and a Canadian astronaut. Your mission specialist, Jeremy Hansen. 47-year-old Jeremy Hansen will be a mission specialist on a mission to orbit the moon. A mission to test the spacecraft and systems that will be used for humanity's return to the lunar surface in 2025. For decades now, literally thousands upon thousands of Canadians have risen to that challenge to bring real value to the international partnership with respect to space exploration, to bring real solutions. All of our leadership working together under a vision to take step by step, and all of those have added up to this moment where a Canadian is going to the moon with our international partnership, and it is glorious. Hansen was chosen from the Canadian Space Agency's pool of active astronauts. He will be joined by American astronauts, mission specialist Christina Koch, pilot Victor Glover, and Commander Reed Wiseman on NASA's Orion spacecraft. Koch will become the first woman to orbit the moon. It will be a four-day journey going a quarter of a million miles, continuing to test out every bit of Orion, going around the far side of the moon, heading home, going through the Earth's atmosphere at over 25,000 miles per hour, and splashing down in the Pacific. The entire mission will take about 10 days, taking the crew more than 10,000 kilometers beyond the far side of the moon, where they will add their names to the list of only 24 people who have ever seen the Earth from so far away, and until now, all were American. This view that the Apollo 8 astronauts shared with the world will be seen by a Canadian for the first time. That makes me proud and excited for a new era of space exploration. We have ignition, two, one, zero, we have a liftoff. The last time anyone had such a view was the Apollo 17 astronauts, the last of the Apollo missions back in December 1972, more than 50 years ago. Today's historic announcement prompting phone calls from the Prime Minister and the US President. Congratulations on uh, Artemis II, it is such a big deal. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to call me. Hey, Artemis Team 2, how you all doing? Look, I want to thank you for your incredible service, the mission you're about to go on. NASA plans to eventually build a lunar outpost called Gateway that will include Canada Arm 3, part of the long-term plan for the first manned flights to Mars.